a video and I've got some friends to help as well so we can explain how it might be a little bit different and what you could expect when you first arrive back at Belton High Street. So the major thing is though that we're welcoming you back and we are so excited. So when you arrive at school this is the only way you can come in so parents I know you're going to be annoyed but we can't have any parents parking on site and the reason for that is um, because we know we have a lot of parents and we are responsible for maintaining social distancing for parents too. So one of the things that we're putting in place is that we can't have parking on site. Um, we recommend that families travel to school by walking um, and there's new recommendations regarding public transport that have been out today as well. So when you come, you only really want one parent per, per family beyond this point and only if you absolutely have to. So we appreciate on day one it might be a bit scary for all children and we know for younger children you're obviously going to have to bring them in as well but where possible the children come in on their own so come in we have set up a walkway system that you can see from our arrows and our key worker children have been absolutely amazing and they've tried to make it look less scary uh, and tried to put some really nice pictures on there as well that you can see and we have got a walkway system set up all the way into school. So on this one, we have to straight down and then the traffic that leaves comes this way. What we have had to do is block off this entry here because we really want to make sure that we're not touching things as much as possible so we know what areas are being touched and what areas can be cleaned. So nobody really should have to go into our office and if you do it is a one-way system and what has to happen is we walk through here so come with us. And we've got lovely little reminders about staying two metres apart as we're walking. So on the way into Bentley High Street, it's this system, and I wish we could have something more attractive than these cones, but we haven't got them at the moment. And on your way in, we're very much walking along this side, and this is the way in, making sure that all our parents and children are maintaining social distancing. Okay, when you come to school now guys, you will be asked to line up and wait before going into school and you can see that there are little two metre spaces here modelled by Mrs Davy. Um, for the parents watching this, I do want to point out that it is raining and I'm taking great pleasure in the fact that I've made these members of staff line up to wait to go in. So basically you'd wait here and if there was more of you then you'd have to sort of space out and you'll be given your own door and told what time you have to come and this is basically how you are and how you line up. Unfortunately, parents would need to wait away from the line so we haven't got too many people here. And then when your teacher comes out, you can start walking in. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to like maintain that social distancing as we're going into school. 
watch them shut me out now while it's raining. Coming to school, Mum and Dad every door has a little table that looks like this. So on it, I'll have some tissues in case you need to sneeze or blow your nose, a bin and some hand sanitizer. So as you walk through, just do a little squirt and thoroughly clean your hands like that before you come in. Right, so when you walk into school, you need to make sure you walk on your left hand side and you will know you are walking on your left because if you look on the floor, you will see some footprints and there's a little arrow that you can follow. Just follow the footprints down. And the other side, we're separated with a big black line. So you can see, look at our wonderful students here. You can see that we've got all the tables um, that are spaced apart. So within your bubble of 15, you will have your own desk and you will also have a tray that will have only equipment touched by you. So that tray will go somewhere else and basically make sure that we don't spread anything, um, that we stick to our own equipment, that we have our own resources. And that way we can all maintain being nicely spaced. You can see all of that. And we've tried our best to not make it look really bare. So we have kept some of the displays up as well. And if you look over here, you're going to see tables like this in every single classroom. So we've got a bin there for our catch it, bin it, kill it. Uh, we've got a hygiene bin for extra cleaning, but it's not got any nasty things in there um, that can be harmful for children. We've kept them away. And we've also got first aid buckets. So any basic first aid that might need to happen can happen in the classrooms. Okay, so we have thought up four new school rules that kind of keep us all safe and happy. So our first one is be kind. Then we've got keep your distance. We're going to do lots of washing our hands. And then we've got to make sure we're telling someone if we feel ill. Okay guys, so part of uh, what you might see at school is you will see people in some basic, what we call PPE. And here I've got it modelled by the lovely Miss Rhodes and Miss Food. So you can see part of our basic PPE is uh, we have gloves, we have an apron, and all the staff who are working with younger children in early years and year one will be wearing some of this, and we call it the basic PPE. But also some staff have elected to, so they've chosen to wear it as well, and they will have this on. But as you can see, there's nothing to worry about. Um, perfectly normal, and you're going to get used to seeing this in our school. Hi, so in reception and nursery, we have changed things around a little bit. We have had to strip back some of our resources, um, but we will have designated areas that the children can play at. Um, we'll have activities out, it won't look this bare. And the more children coming in, we're getting some work up, making it look a bit brighter, but there'll still be lots for them to play with. But it's just a bit more rotated, so we keep, can keep on top of cleaning. Oh, I really want to see my friends! Oh, see you. Okay, so unfortunately, you are going to be in little bubbles of 15, and it's a way of staying safe and making sure that we're social distancing. So you will be able to see them in the corridor and wave at them, but we're not going to be able to play outside with them or go into class with them and we've got to stick into our bubbles of 15. And we know that is going to be tough, but you need to start preparing yourself for that now, guys. So at break time, you may be given a new area to play in. It's very important that you stick to your area. So this group here have half of the Key Stage 2 playground. So they're playing a game, a social distance game, out in their area. Dinner's here, guys! To make sure we stay safe and contained in our bubbles, dinner will be brought to us. Every year group has their own allocated toilet. Okay, so we also have the nurture nest, which is now becoming the first aid station. 
but you can see I'm just going to go in. And if any of you are poorly or you don't feel very well or you've got a temperature or you need some first aid, you will come in here. So here we've got Miss Rhodes who we're pretending has hurt herself. She, she does fall over a lot, so that's a possibility. And again, we've got Miss Booth here who will be looking after her. And as you can see in here, we have everything set up ready for first aid. And it's just a way of making sure that we're all staying safe. So if there are any cuts or bumps or anything, um, that we can make sure that we can get rid of all the wipes properly and that we're looking after everyone really well so you can see it's just basically got loads of equipment in it places for you to sit and this is where we would wait if we were waiting for our parents to collect us because we weren't feeling very well in school oh, 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 i need to sneeze oh, 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 oh. yeah catch it bin it kill it I need to go wash my hands now Okay, so we still have um, office staff in and they'll be working from here as well. But the only difference is we've got certain areas in school where other staff can't go either. So um, this is the office bubble. Guys, do you want to give us a wave? Um, we've got two out of the four. And the door very much is shut off so that we can't let any other members of staff in here or children as well. So even the adults are working very much in a bubble. Right, so office area is kind of out of bounds at the moment, so we would ask for parents to wait outside. Hopefully the weather would be nicer than this. Um, so ideally, ring a member of staff if you've got anything that you want to talk to us about. Hi everyone, so we're not going to use the cloakroom, so you just bring in school what you absolutely need. Um, so there'll be no clue to keep your things with you and you've got to bring your own water bottle because we're not going to be using the water fountains. Home learning will still be continuing um, but in the meantime we will still be sending home packs as much as we can and we are going to be starting our virtual lessons too. <laughs> On a Friday, all children will be leaving by half one, so the whole school can have a deep clean and teachers can have a time to prepare and things as well. Hi! Smilers is going to be open as usual next week from 7.30 till 9. It's £3.50 and then in the afternoon we're from 3.30 till 5 for £3.50. We're just open for key worker children and you must book in with me. Thank you. Okay, so for the first couple of weeks, just to settle everyone back in, because we'll all be feeling a bit anxious, we're going to be doing lots of work all about the new rules, the new routines, getting to know each other, just so we can have a smooth transition so we don't have anything to worry about. When you're going out, we are walking at this side of the road. So obviously, we're having to stagger when people come into school and when people leave to make sure that we haven't got a lot of volume of people on the playground. So you need to really look carefully at who's leading your bubble, what time you start school, what time you finish school, and the allocated door for you as well. So when we're walking out, we're going to be really careful that we're not bumping into anybody. We're keeping those two metre distances in place and we're making sure that we're walking out really, really calmly. Right, we hope you found that really useful um, and we hope it's been helpful for you to have a bit of a look at what school's going to be like. I strongly recommend that you read really carefully all the paperwork that's coming home. I know there's a lot. Uh, things like the behaviour policy, the pupil code of conduct, um, the parent code of conduct and also the measures that we're putting in to keep you safe. Now we do know that it seems a bit odd coming back to school like this and being a little bubbles of 15 and we're finding it odd too but we can't wait to see you and to have you back in school. But we've got to make sure that we're all safe. So please, any questions, anything else that you need, get in touch with us, contact the school and we'll do everything we can to help. Stay safe. See you later, everyone.